possibly be more terrifying than watching a tornado hurtle right toward you with broad daylight, not seeing it descend upon your town in the darkness of night? Sunday evening, October 20th, 2019. Some areas of Dallas, Texas are pounded with thunderstorms, while others are treated to a dazzling, almost peaceful lightning show. Wow, it's like fireworks in the heavens. It's amazing. It really kind of lights up the sky, not just in one area, all around, like almost a panoramic lighting of the sky. But what happens next takes many residents by surprise. Okay, we're going to wait for the lightning to flash, and here, we're going to pause the video. You can see the tornado right there in the center of your screen. It's almost like a movie, right? The lightning just illuminates that tornado, and you can see the debris being tossed out and whatnot. Sirens are sounded, warnings are sent, but many folks are blindsided by what they can't see. Inside a grocery store, shoppers scramble for shelter. God, look at the store. I mean, the power goes out, things are flying everywhere. I mean, he's trying to run to safety. When people can't see things, it's a lot more scary because they have no idea what's going on or what to prepare for. You know, they may get the sirens, but a lot of people need a secondary source of confirmation that there is a tornado or something severe going on to actually take shelter. For those very reasons, nocturnal tornadoes are two and a half times more deadly than their daytime counterparts, even when alerts go out. Some people actually turn the alerts off of their phone because they think they're annoyed. You definitely want to have those alerts on your phone. That's going to save your life. The odds of disaster increase even more because this storm has triggered multiple twisters. Baby, it's getting bigger. An unbelievable 10 tornadoes tear through the Dallas Metroplex that night with varying intensity. The strongest was an EF3 tornado, winds around 150 miles per hour. This monster strikes Richardson and is the strongest to hit the area since 1976. Oh, it is a go to your safe spot, lowest level, most interior room. Not go try to film the tornado or try to see it and visually confirm it because that could cost you your life. It's not until the following morning that residents see just how much massive damage has occurred. Look at the strip mall. I mean, it looks like a bomb went off. In this one instance, timing was good for this tornado. Because imagine coming through the shopping center at 2 in the afternoon. Unbelievably, there are zero fatalities and no major injuries reported. That's because the outbreak has spared most housing. Instead, office buildings and retail properties have taken the brunt of the storm. The only silver lining, I would think, is the fact that these tornadoes did occur at night, which means people weren't shopping and weren't there, which probably saved dozens of lives. An outbreak of 10 night tornadoes is a rare event.